Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Winnebago Solus Pocket. I like to call it the Pocket Solus because it's tiny compared to the, most of the other vans out on the market. But yet it's got a really cool configuration inside that I'll point out to you guys here in a minute. We'll start off by uh, going over the stock number for you guys in case you're interested. This is 5N211233. Again, this is a 2022 Winnebago Solus Pocket. We're going to do a quick walk around of the exterior. I'll show you the back of the coach and then we'll go ahead and move inside and I'll show you my favorite features of this little van here. This is on the Ram ProMaster chassis. This is a 136 inch wheelbase. So again, a 17 foot uh, in length, 17 foot nine. Uh, so you can fit in any parking spot. I mean, it's really easy to move around in this thing. Take it to the grocery store, wherever you need to go. This is our bright silver exterior color. As we come around the back here, kind of want to show a couple of features. Right up here we have our backup camera. And right on the right side of that uh, red marker light up there, that's going to be your uh, rear view mirror cam. And I'll go over that when we're inside as well. So you can see we have our bug screen for ventilation. If you want to get some fresh air running through here, you just close off your rear screen. Uh, it also has a side screen that I'll point out in a little bit. You can get some fresh air circulating through here. Back here, we're going to have our outdoor shower. This is where you hook up your, your sprayer so you can get the sand off your feet. You can give your, your, your pets uh, or your babies, whatever you call them, uh, give them a quick bath outside before they go inside. We've got our fresh tank drains. We have our city water inlet here, our water pump switch. We've got a couple standard outlets. And of course, we're going to have some USBs and a 12 volt as well. Right here is our solar external solar port hookup. So this is where you would plug in an external solar panel if you wanted to add additional solar. All right, and I'm going to scoot over here so you can see this. This is our gray drain, our valve for our gray tank. This has 20 gallons of fresh water and 20 gallons of gray. Low point drain down here. All the water, all the plumbing, everything is in, inside on this coach. Uh, so again, this is a really nice four season coach for here in Colorado or anywhere else that you go that's uh, gonna be cold. We've got our propane tank right here. This is gonna run your furnace, your cooktop. Really simple to replace, just like you would replace at home under your grill. Just swap out tanks when you run out. Not sure if you can see on the camera, but if you can kind of zoom in here, there are a couple vents there. Right there, and then another one back here. Just in case there happened to be a leak, it's got some, some ventilation there, which is really important. Cubbies everywhere in this coach. Um, we get, you can see the ones back here. Once we get inside, I'm going to put the Murphy bed down. So I wanted you to kind of see it from back here. This is our shower curtain or our privacy curtain. That will go right here. This also works as a you know, if you want to hang off, hang your clothes up to dry, if you've been out on, out swimming, you've been out on the beach surfing, this is a good place to do that. And then again, you can add your shower curtain out here to get privacy if you want to take an outdoor shower. Comes in really handy. Back here, you can see we've got this l A Couple of spots back here, we've got four points down here where you can tie stuff down. These pins move around, makes it really easy to fasten stuff down. And then we've got our molly panel right there that also serves as a, basically you can make this back end a kennel for your pet. Um, and I'll show that once we're inside as well. 3,500 pound receiver hitch back here. 
with the four pin connector. Here's an access little compartment door here to turn your propane on and off really easy so you don't have to be going in and out of the coach to do that. Right here we're going to have our 30 amp service. It does come with the 30 amp shore cord. And it does have a light here that, that illuminates when you're plugged in showing you that you do have power. Our Truma uh, exhaust is right there. And then again, this is on the ProMaster. So this is a gas engine. So this is where you put, put your gas in. Here's your emergency brake. Important thing for this is when you're gonna swivel your seat around, if you're gonna swivel this front driver's seat, you wanna make sure and put that down before you do that. This side, we're going to see our battery boost. And that's the button you'll push there to merge your house and chassis battery so you can start up your van if you happen to leave your lights on or something. We got power windows, power door locks. And here's your, how you open the, the hood to get to that uh, 280 horsepower, 3.6 liter gas engine. easy to get all, all your uh, components here you've got your coolant you're gonna have again this is a small coach this is a small van again 136 inch wheelbase so yes you do have the flux capacitor it's kind of hidden in the back same with the blinker fluid uh, you can call me text me if you want me to point that out to you simple here's your oil right here's where you would check your oil your oil fills right here next to it windshield wiper fluid Plenty of horsepower for this small van to get up and down the mountains. If you're from Colorado, you know how important it is to have a little horsepower going up the mountains. All right, now as we open up the side door here, we've got a nice table. Perfect to sit down. Um, you know, if you're cooking, if you're hanging out outside, you want to just have a meal outside, this is really versatile. You can use it for a lot of different things. And of course, you can open up your refrigerator from outside. You get back from the grocery store in this little grocery getter, you can come back and fill up your fridge. And then right here, we're gonna have again some more USBs. Another 12 volt, two standard outlets. Your main power disconnect here. You have your porch light for out here. And then your interior lights. And I'm gonna leave that there as we come in. Couple of things I wanna point out. Again, this is a short 136 inch wheelbase, 17 and a half, 17.9 in length. But look at this, you got a nice two burner stove, stainless steel sink, and then look at all this counter space up here. When the Murphy bed is up, you've got a ton of counter space up here for uh, meal prep. Uh, you could do it as a standing workstation if you really wanted to. If you're like me and can't sit still, this is where I would be talked about it when we were outside you have this molly panel that also serves as a door so you can keep your dog back here um, keep your pets safe and out of the way whenever you go out hiking or whatever you're doing you've got a nice solus bag here I'll just go ahead and open this up for you you can put a lot of miscellaneous supplies utensils it's got all these little pockets where you can put utensils in Just snaps and again this is a molly panel so that means you can buy you can strap any kind of gear on here that you would like to do that back up in here 
We're gonna have our light switch here for your fresh water tank. Again, our tanks are in here, fresh water and gray. This will show you the water level. Again, you have another outlet here, USB 12 volt and a gravity fill. So if you wanna carry five gallon uh, water, water bottle with you, water jug, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're running out of water, you just gravity fill it into here, pour it into there. It makes it really easy. I really like this idea here. A lot of people are traveling with their pets. More cubbies in here. Plenty of room for dog food, cat food. And then down here, we're gonna have our fuses. As with all the soluses, we've got the magnets that hold your doors up here. That way you're not hitting your head. They're not sagging down and you're trying to get in there to get stuff and bump in your head. A lot of storage in this in this pocket solus. Here you can see our Coleman Mach 10 uh, air conditioner. Simple to operate, just turn the dials here. And then we get to my favorite spot of this coach. Uh, and this is, I get a lot of folks that come in and they have, uh, maybe it's a couple and, and one child and most vans don't work because they only sleep two, they only seat two. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons, but this you can actually set up in a lot of different ways. Um, right here's a nice little storage. I had my planner in here earlier. There is a cover here so you can run your, uh, your cables. So if you've got something plugged in here, you can run it to these USB ports or 12 volt. And again, two standard outlets. And these covers for your uh, for the wires are on both sides, so you can actually store stuff on both sides. You have a nice little spot to set your phone up, plug it in. You got your cup holders. You can actually sit down. Uh, the problem with a lot of the vans when you swivel the seats around, you don't really have a, a nice dining area to hang out, play cards, do that kind of stuff. This little pocket solace, as I call it, is awesome for that reason. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of show you a couple different configurations. But before I do that, just in case, uh, you know, middle of the night you've gotta go, here's your porta potty. It's really easy to, you know, pull it out of there. Perfect for emergencies. All right. Now, uh, couple different ways we can configure our solas here. We can take this out, just set it down. Now this table actually fills this gap right here. Put this cushion in here. And now if I wanted to, I could have a nice little day bed here. I could send some messages out, check my emails just hang out and have a drink. Um, really nice. Sleeping, uh, you can actually sleep somebody right here. Uh, gives you plenty of room, especially if you're carrying, a, if you got a child, a little one with you, there's plenty of room. And even for somebody, I'm 5'11", I can take this out of here. I could swivel that front seat around and I'd have more leg room and I could actually lay down right here. So it's hard to get that in most of the vans. If I want the table set up, I could actually put this in here. Oh, sorry, wrong direction. And I could, I like it up high here because if I'm working, I can now set up my table kind of a personal personal idea of mine I like it up high I got additional counter space here makes it really nice okay now get rid of this again we can use this backer that was up here as part of the bed as well and we can actually turn this into a sofa Turn around. And 
And now we have a nice little sofa. Again, we have our two drinks. We have our counter space here. Super simple to move around. And I'm going to show you another one that I really like. I'm going to have to put the bed down for this one, but let's swap this out. You can have a lot of fun when you when you get your solace. You can actually have a lot of fun just experimenting, coming up with your own ideas. But if you want a love seat, let me show you how to do that. We're gonna use turn these seats sideways. One of the cushions that goes with the bed actually sits here. I'll slide in there, and now we have a love seat. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back the way it was with the table. And then I'll show you how to make the, the Murphy bed up there. There we go. Now when it's time to make the bed, you're gonna take all the cushions out. You got a filler for the window. Got one of these for each, each side. And now you have your Murphy bed. As you can see, if you're, you know, again, it's depending on if your pet, your, if your, if your dog sleeps in the bed with you, he can definitely climb up here through here, up to there. If not, he's got. You can set up the dog bed down there, and everybody's comfy. There's a couple little cubbies back there with some net. Just put some miscellaneous items up in here. Really good use of space in this pocket solace. And now I'm gonna put the put the bed back up. And you're going to figure out as you're doing this what's going to work the best. I like folding it like this. Put those on the bottom. And then that stores the big cushion out of the way. There we go. Now they use these little seat belt latches. There we go. It's kind of tucked away there when you're pushing the cushions up. You can kind of see it from right there. Again, it takes a time or two. Figure out what works best for you. If you keep the cushion up there, then it keeps this counter space exposed. Makes it easy to use. You don't want to leave the cushion up here. Just gonna open these up one more time. And then we'll go through your counter space down here 
or not counter, <laughs> drawer space down here under your sink. Got two nice drawers. And then you have a nice deep one there that you can use for, you know, pots, pans, um, trash. All right, now I kind of want to go through the, I'm going to turn this seat around. Really easy to swivel the seat around once you have it. You can actually move it forward or backwards. All right, you can see we have a fire extinguisher right here, another 110 outlet, and a heater vent. There we go. So now if I got a couple of uh, friends visiting, we've got a nice little hangout spot, really easy. Um, if you're sitting here, this is the one you don't want because your fridge is right there. So, of course, your buddies are going to be asking you to get the next drink. Sit in that one, not in this one. I'm going to swivel it back around and I kind of want to go over the chassis, uh, the cockpit a little bit, show you the rear view mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up so I can show you the rear view mirror. So as you can see now, I can actually see out the back. You can angle this down. You can adjust your brightness. So it's got different settings there. Um, there you go. You can adjust the angle here. And then if you don't like seeing how the, if that bothers you while you're driving, you just pull down on this and it turns it off. And then it pretty much works as a regular mirror. But this is a really cool feature. Um, not something you find in every um, Class B van. We've got our stereo here, it does have Bluetooth. Really easy to set up. You have voice controls on your steering wheel. You've got your standard AC controls here, hazard lights, your door locks, and then your shifter here. It does have tow haul mode. And the ProMaster on this one actually has the cross crosswind um, protection on you. So if, if it senses a cross breeze come across, it'll actually apply, apply the brakes to certain wheels to kind of keep you from going off the road. So that's a really cool feature back to the steering wheel here we've got our mute button we have our Bluetooth voice command volume and then you can change your stations on this side and you can make a call or hang up a call ProMaster awesome like I said you got 280 horsepower plenty of power for a van of this size to get moving up the mountains um, wherever it is you're gonna go to for your next adventure okay. All right, let's do just do uh, one more out here. I want to take one more look, just because you can see this is a it's a pocket Solus. <laughs> it's tiny. You know, it's a lot better than tent camping, and it's got everything you need to have fun with your family, your friends. If you need some time away for yourself, which we all do from time to time, and you want to get away and just kind of recharge, this is perfect. Um, if you have any questions on this or any other coaches, feel free to call, text, or email me. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you here in a week or two. Take care.